Okay, and welcome back to problem four of a summit one for Carol, where Carol needs to find the middle of a particular row and put a beeper down and sit there. And there are no other beepers allowed in the world. Now, if we were our driver, this would be a very easy problem. But as we're not, the hard part is to think about how you can find the middle of a row using nothing but uh, a bag of beepers. Now there are a few things we know about this, uh, about this is that there's no, outside of the world boundaries, there is no uh, obstacles. The world is at least high as it is wide. Not that my particular problem, not that my particular solution needs, a, uh, needs anything but one row to work. Uh, we know that Carol starts off in square one one down here and it's facing eastward. And if the world has like six six rows, it doesn't divide evenly, so you can either have it in a column three or column four. Whereas in a five uh, column world like this, you need to wind up on a spot three. So this was my solution to how to do it. We can have, have a look at a, my algorithm that I made. Now the very first thing I do is I put a beeper down where Carol starts. And the very next thing I do is that I put a beeper down at the other end of the world. So Carol just uh, wanders through here checking all the way that the front is clear and as soon as the front is not clear she stops, she puts the beeper down, she turns around, and she moves the square. And this is where things get a little bit tricky, but um, I'm sure you better follow along if you, if you think about what I'm doing. And then she moves another square. And she checks to see if a beeper is present. Now, if a beeper is present, that means the preceding square where we moved, just moved from is the center. Now if you don't understand that, just keep looking along and I'm sure it will make sense as we get closer to the end. Now since there is no beaver here, we know we're nowhere near the middle and we keep on going until we find uh, the closest beaver that we put down, which is here. And once we find this beaver here, we turn around and we put a beeper in the square next to the next to our last beeper and then we move another two squares and if there's no beeper here then we know that we've uh, then we keep going and we do until we hit our next beeper which happens to be here at square seven and we turn around put a beeper down and then we move two squares there's no beeper here, so we keep going till we hit our next beeper, turn around, pull the beeper down, move two squares, no beeper here, so we keep going until we hit our beeper, just one square away this time, and we turn around and we put the beeper down. Now we move another two squares, and this time we have a beeper here. Which means that we know the square before us is the center. So we move here and we put a beeper down. So Carol is now here in the middle with a beeper. So we're basically on the first half of the problem. The problem is, is that we have all these other beepers in the other squares. And Carol, the the, uh, the point of the problem is that Carol is only allowed to be sitting on the beeper in the middle. There can't be any other beepers in the world. So how do we uh, how do we get rid of all the other beepers while still finding our way back to the middle? Well, the solution I came up with is uh, quite simple. We simply move one square, and then we start uh, deleting beepers like mad. 
So we move here, delete and uh, remove that beeper. We move here, delete that beeper, move again, delete that beeper until we hit the end of the world. And then we know that we've cleaned up half of the beepers already. We're almost done. So then we simply uh, turn around and we find the very first beeper that we can. And because we've cleaned out all the beepers on this side, we know that that beeper is the middle. And then we simply do again, we move a square and then we clear out all the beepers until we hit the end of the world. Like so. And then we've only got one uh, and then we've only got one beeper left. So Carol's currently here, facing in this direction. We have a beeper in the middle and our assignment states that we need to have Carol on the uh, beeper. So we simply turn around and we keep looking until we find that there's a beeper on a square as we move. And Carol, as soon as we do, we know we've hit the middle. And Carol has succeeded in her problem. So that works just fine for a world with uh, an odd number of columns. Now, how about a world that has an even number of columns? So, for example, here, whereas in our, our seven-column world, we need to place in our world four, in our, in, sorry, in column four, in this uh, case, we can either have Carol sit in spot three or spot four. So let's go through the algorithm one more time. So the first thing we do is we put a beeper down. And then we move Carol to the other end of the world until our front is no longer clear and we know we've reached the end of the world. And we put another beeper down. Then we turn around and we move two squares. There's no beeper present, so we know we're not near our middle yet. Even though we are, but we can't know that because we don't know if it's a 10 or a 15 or a 20 column world. So we keep going until we hit the very first beeper that we come across, which happens to be in square one. So we turn around, put a beeper down, then we move two. No beeper here, so we keep going until we find our next beeper. We turn around, put it down, move two. No beeper here, so we keep going. Turn around, when we hit our beeper, move one, put a beeper down, move two, Ah, we've hit our beeper. So we simply turn around, place a beeper, and now we know that Carol is in the middle, or in this case, close enough to the middle as far as the program is concerned, sitting on a beeper, facing this direction, facing west, but also has all these other beepers that we need to clear up. So we simply make Carol move first in the direction she's following, because we may as well. Clearing up all those beepers along the way with her handy pick up beeper function that she's got built in. Turn around. Move to the very first one. Know that we know that's the middle. Keep going and delete the rest of them. And then we simply turn around find that beeper that we've left with her find beeper function and there she is sitting in the middle on the beeper the only beeper left in the world now the small problem with this solution is that it works for for our worlds with columns three or more so it works with if it's a three column world or if it's a 50 column world it works just fine but it does run into problems in a one or two column world, in which case I've just basically hard coded in what, what Carol has to do. So in a one world, in a one column world like we see down here, the very first thing is the same as we do in any size world. We put a uh, B 
Beep her down. Carol checks that she can move forward. She can't. So we know we're done. Carol's sitting in the middle, in this case the only square, with the beeper on. In a two world, it's a little bit more complex. Once again, we put a beeper down first. We check to see if we can move. In this case, we can. Then we check to see if we can move again. In this case, we can't. So we know we're in a two, two column world. All she has to do is turn back around and move a square and we're done. If, if the world kept extending, then we'll know, we don't know exactly how many it goes, but we do know that the algorithm that I talked about will solve the problem. Now I'm not going to go into great detail about the actual code because, I mean, it's pretty simple as long as you understand the algorithm. But uh, if we just look in our, in our run method, basically, it's just what I told you to do. We just put a beeper down and then we check if our front is clear. If it is clear, then we move. Otherwise, basically the program's done because we're done. And then we check if our front is clear again. If it's not, if then we know we're in a two world. We just turn around and we move to our mid position, which in this case is our square one. And we're done. Otherwise, we execute three methods in order. We find our mid, then we remove all the excess beepers, and we move back to the mid. I'm not going to go into any great detail because it should all be pretty basic. If you've got a better algorithm to, uh, to uh, find the mid, I'm happy for you to show me your code. If you need to go into any greater detail with this code, then... Uh, I'm happy to go through it again, uh, but it should all be pretty clear. These are just all the methods I've uh, used uh, in order to reach our goal. So just to show you that this works, we have a... Uh, we've loaded up Carol, this is a, a nine column world. Carol just keeps looping back and forth. Till she gets to the mid, then she clears it up, moves back. Show you it works in a uh, even world. Once again, it works fine. Um, sorry, that was the wrong one. We'll go one by eight. So even those little columns here doesn't matter. We're done. And likewise, if I quickly make a uh, world of two lengths we start it and there she cows in the middle on a beeper problem solved so we have now done all the carol problems and we're about to move into world into assignment two where we do some basic java in some ways it's actually an easier assignment i think than, uh, than the carols because there's less thinking involved but uh, if in the meantime, if sorry, if in the meantime you still have issues or or problems with uh, Summit One, by all means, send me off a message and I'll be sure to help you to the best of my ability. Uh, until next time, though, peace out.